Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm gonna to make a video between the hollow body frog and the soft frog. Which one's better? Um, personally, I don't think that they're better. I think that they both have their strong points and some of them have their weak points. Uh, so I'm gonna go into those points and uh, we're gonna get started here. All right, so the first thing I wanna to touch on is price. And when it comes to price, um, your hollow body frog is gonna be a lot more expensive than these soft frogs. I got prices from Tackle Warehouse. I got two main frogs that I fish. Uh, this is a Spurro Bronze Eye and then this is some snag proof frog I bought way back in the day. Um, but the Spurl Bronze Eye, these start off at $10.99 a piece. Um, these are very good frogs, but they do start off at $10.99 a piece. The one I like to use the most often is the Booyah Pad Crasher, and that one is at $6.29 for one frog. So they can be fairly expensive. As with these Zoom frogs, uh, for a pack of five on Tackle Warehouse, you can get them for $3.89. So in the price category, your soft body frogs are definitely gonna beat the hollow ones. All right, so the next category is going to be durability. And when it comes to durability, um, ultimately your hollow body is gonna destroy any, any soft body frog because these are basically soft plastics. And if you know when you rig a soft plastic and you go in to set that hook, that lure is gonna tear a little bit. Um, the, the frog is, is no exception to that. So these hollow bodies are definitely a lot more durable than the soft ones. So next I wanna get into hook sets. And when it comes to hook sets, personally, I think that the hollow body is gonna be a lot better, mainly because it's got these two hooks. And um, if you can tell, the hooks come out the side of the frog, whereas for a soft body, most of the time you're gonna Texas rig it. Uh, these zoom frogs have a nice slit in the middle. So you can stick a hook right through there and Texas rig it. And as you know, with a Texas rig bait, you usually have to, to set the hook pretty hard in order to get a decent hook set. Um, with these, you can see that they just come right out the side here, which is really nice. All right, so the next category I wanna go into is ease of use. Which one is easier to control, maneuver, cast, things like that. And personally, I find that the hollow body is a little bit better um, just because of the fact that it is hollow and it can move a little bit better in the water. Whereas this, you have to have a lot more rod movement and such in order to get it to move. This one, you can take slight twitches of your rod and it'll, it'll make great movement. So this one might seem like it's perfect. Um, unfortunately, it isn't. Uh, there's always something. And with the hollow body frogs, um, where these hooks come out, sometimes these can fill up with water. I find that if you put a, just a dab of super glue right here, that it can somewhat keep the water out. I'm gonna make a frog fishing video this summer all about what I do with my frogs and such. Um, but I find that if you put a little bit of super glue there, that it can help and that that hook will stay. So then one con I have with the soft body frog, which I hit on before, is that sometimes these frogs can be hard to rig. Um, they are a little bit thicker than your typical average soft plastic. However, with these zoom frogs, like I showed you before, they have these nice slits in the middle and you don't have to hook as much soft plastic, which is really nice when it comes to rigging. All right, so ultimately, which one is better? None of them are better. Um, when it comes to the hollow body, uh, durability is a key thing. Hook sets are, are big on this one. When it comes to the soft body, uh, it's gonna be cheaper and you're gonna get a lot more. So, neither of them win. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching the video, guys. 